I would literally be the first person to leave a function, the first person to leave school, the first person to leave work, to go home and do what exactly? Get in my bed and stare at a screen? That's fucking weird. Don't let that be you because like that is one of my biggest regrets in life. I spent my childhood on the internet. It was actually really depressing looking back on it because I feel like now at 25 years old, I'm actually trying to learn how to live my life, like learning like how to talk to people for the first time, just actually putting myself out there, networking, going to social events, wanting to actually go out and about and do things. I think I could have gone down a very different path. Like I recently watched the Anti-Social Network on Netflix. So basically the kids who were on 4chan when the internet first came out, how all of that led to QAnon and the January 6th insurrection. The internet is a social experiment and like we just never know what's gonna be the outcome of it. It got me thinking about what would my life really have been like if I was just a normal kid? Like if I grew up with no cell phone? Cause there are some people whose parents never got them a cell phone. I would create obsessions out of people I knew in my real life, but I would also get obsessed with these, you know, stories that I was inventing in my head and reading fan fiction and writing fan fiction and I was into k-pop some anime and one direction I was like really really big on tumblr back in the day my brother his whole thing was video games he got really into game boy uh, gamecube xbox did we perhaps use the virtual reality to escape our actual reality did we create all these stories in our mind about people that people are weird people are mean the world is a scary place things are hard and then we just kind of went into this virtual world because it was easier we could control the narrative and it was just much safer to do those things and to actually go out put yourself out there and potentially expose yourself to pain i work in a high school now and i see the kids are literally glued to their phones whatever it is that you're interested in you could literally go down that wormhole for hours it's like oodles and oodles and oodles of content to consume and you'll never consume at all like if you really want to just disconnect from the world you really can do that it's easier to get your little virtual reality headset and just go into a virtual world who are you going to be in this new era are you going to you know disconnect from society disconnect from reality and go into this fantasy land the crazy thing that I realized that really helped me out with this whole escapism phenomenon is like we already live in a video game. You can literally bend and mold reality to your will. You just have to know the cheat codes. You have to know how to play the game and if you don't know how to play the game you're gonna be frustrated and you're gonna make excuses and like just want to escape from reality like so this is an option that you have. You have a choice. Do you want to play this game or do you want to play the game within the game because it's easier to play the game within the game than to play the actual game you came here to play. I'm not saying having hobbies or special interests are bad. I'm just saying the extreme side of it which is using these things as a means of escaping the hardship that you face in your actual life because that's genuinely what I was doing I just loved fantasy worlds you know I, I still write but just make sure that you have made a decision about who you want to be because you know you can do whatever you want here but like I had to ask myself did I really come to this planet to just get sucked into a false reality or did I come here to actually live in this reality did you come here to escape this life or did you come here to live this life honestly one of my biggest regrets is just not talking to people not actually being in the present moment constantly feeling like i had to escape or run away i would literally be the first person to leave a function the first person to leave school the first person to leave work or whatever to go home and do what exactly get in my bed and stare at a screen like that's fucking weird when you really think about it i'm not judging you i'm judging my past self don't let that be you because like that is one of my biggest regrets in life is that i did not like actually be in the present moment because i had so many stories about what other people were thinking just stuff that's not even real just bullshit if you're gen z and you have always known technology don't let that shit distract you from living your life because social media the content online is actually supposed to help us build relations in the real world i had this fucking massive wake-up call like when i was at a concert recently it's gonna sound embarrassing to like an older generation but like you don't actually need your phone like you can go out and talk to people and this is so sad this is so sad that i'm even saying this but like there are real people who have always known just staring at their screen and i know this happened during the pandemic people went to social media solely for social interaction that they weren't getting in real life we have to reverse that we have to remember that real life comes first social media comes last social media is a tool just like just like fire or a knife you can use it in a constructive way or you can use it to your detriment you don't have to do a damn thing you don't want to do if you want to use it use it and if it's toxic don't